Hello, this is Jason Robertson speaking from near the uh, Puget Sound on the way to the Pacific Ocean uh, near Seattle, Washington in the United States. And uh, I was asked by uh, ABZ MIT, please forgive uh, mispronunciation, and the AGTCM uh, to speak a bit about the course I'll be teaching in Offenbach near Frankfurt, Germany in May of 2017. That'll be May 4th through 7th in 2017. This uh, will be a really rare opportunity for me to take four days of ex explanation and kind of fleshing out uh, the work of my teacher, Professor Wang Juyi of Beijing, and his work in what he calls applied channel theory, or Jing Luo Yi Xue. In this four-day seminar, I plan on going over uh, some of the basics of the information in the textbook that he and I worked on, Applied Channel Theory in Chinese Medicine, but also going through some new material that Dr. Wang and, and I have worked on in the last almost 10 years since that book was produced. Uh, in, particularly, in particular, I'd like for us to have a chance to really work on using this information in the clinic. In other words, integrating channel palpation, which I think is the really unique thing Dr. Wang has to offer in his teaching, with his understanding of uh, Liu Jing Qi Hua, Qi transformation in the six channels, or physiology in Chinese medicine. Uh, and to that end, I'd like to take those four days to kind of alternate uh, theoretical discussions, uh, clinical presentations of me doing some live treatments on patients there, uh, some presentations of Dr. Wang's case studies, with lots of hands-on practice with you, uh, uh, the group who's going to be there. Uh, specifically, the first day I want to kind of go over Dr. Wang's understanding of Liu Jing Qi Hua, or six-channel qi, qi transformation, explaining his understanding of physiology in the context of the six levels that many of you may be more familiar with from the Shang Han Lun, or the treatise on cold damage. So that first morning, I want to kind of just explain his understanding of, of basically the body based on his readings of the Neijing the Nanjing and the Jiaijing, these classical texts. And then by the afternoon, I want to present uh, some case demonstrations uh, and also have you guys begin palpating the channels. Then beginning on the second day, I want to go a bit deeper into this level, uh, this six level qi transformation idea and talk a bit about directionality of treatment. In other words, seeing treatments in the context of going upwards and downwards and in and out, but always thinking within the six level uh, qi transformation concept. And to that end, we'll begin that day, that afternoon, with going through each of the six levels. Taiyang, Xiaoyang, Yangming, Taiyin, Xiaoyin, and Jueyin, and the two channels in each of those, so all 12 channels, one by one, very carefully going over each, going through the kind of palpation technique Dr. Wang uses, commonly found findings on the channels with hands-on practice with you, and also, and this is really important, I think, for those of you who are interested in Dr. Wang's material, his point locations. Really in the last, say, five or six years, after 52 years in practice, every time I go back to Beijing to study with Dr. Wang or teach with him abroad, he wants to spend a lot of time going over point location. You think that that's something that you begin in the first year of practice, but in his mind, getting the results that he's finding he can get by thinking of the classics in the modern uh, clinic, Getting those results requires really locating the points precisely as he does, looking for the spaces that he finds where the needle should go. And so a lot of his points might be a bit different than what we see in our textbooks, but I want to go through those with you. Uh, we'll have a video recorder showing them and then have chance with you to really make sure you're finding the points as Dr. Wong finds them. Another thing I want to do in those next three days is continue to demonstrate uh, patient treatments, go over some of Dr. Wong's case studies, but also very importantly, to talk about Dr. Wong's point pairs. When Dr. Wong comes up with a channel diagnosis, when he comes up with a treatment that he's gonna use, it's very important for him also to think of his treatment with a lead point pair. And so I wanna go through in each of the six channels, point pairs that Dr. Wong often uses, how he thinks of those point pairs affecting qi transformation. And I should pause for a minute to say that. When we talk about creating point prescriptions in Dr. Wang's approach, he wants to think about the effects of that pairing of points on the six channel qi transformation. So in other words, certain point pairs fit a diagnosis or a symptom pattern, kind of like a glove, and you try to find the point pair that fits your diagnosis. So thinking about point pairs, describing the point pairs that he often uses, the point pairs that I often use here in my clinic in Seattle, and describing 
how you might use those in your clinics is a big part of what I want to go over and that's a part of I think I haven't had a chance to teach in classes I've done elsewhere because we simply haven't had enough time. So going through each of the six levels, describing point pairs and how they can be used clinically will be a very big part of our description of um, understanding the six levels in our four days together. Um, there'll be plenty of time for questions. I want to make sure that your questions that you have before uh, the class even are asked and so any of you watching this video uh, who are interested in, in certain topics who've studied with me or studied with Dr. Wong before, uh, we have time for you to submit those uh, to me at KentuckyGensing at Yahoo.com. Uh, that's K-E-N-T-U-C-K-Y-G-I-N-S-E-N-G -E -E at Yahoo.com. And put in the heading, you know, uh, Offenbach course. If there's something you've been thinking about that you might want us to touch on, I'll be preparing a certain question and answer. The dialogue, uh, as you know, in the classical text, the Neijing and the Nanjing in particular, is the way to structure learning in Chinese medicine. So I want to really foster a dialogue between us as we do this hands-on practice um, and basically try to get very deep into uh, what Dr. Wong has found in 52 years of practice to be a very effective acupuncture approach that uses few needles and gets very good results and also has kind of a very um, empirical, tactile, diagnostic method that can be shown to others as well. So I look forward to our time in May of 2017 at Offenbach near Frankfurt, Germany. And in the meantime, uh, those of you who studied with me before, keep palpating, bring your questions because it's always growing, always changing information. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all there. Thanks very much. Bye.